on May 13th, 2025. Thomas Creeder, a.k.a. Glorious Eggroll, announced the Nobara Project 42. A substantial update to the Fedora-based gaming and content creation distribution. Introducing a new default browser, which is Brave Browser. An in-house Flatpak store, which is Flatpost. A fully rolling release model. Enhanced driver management. And updated core components, including GNOME 48 desktop environment. KDE Plasma 6.3.4. Mesa 25.1.0. The NVIDIA 570.144 driver. And the Linux kernel 6.14.6. .6. Now let's start with the introduction. Nobara Linux is a user-friendly spin of Fedora, tailored for gamers and creators, spearheaded by Thomas Creeder, known in the community as Glorious Eggroll. Since its inception in July 2022, Nobara has prioritized out-of-the-box support for proprietary drivers, multimedia codecs, and gaming tools. With version 42, the project transitions to a true rolling release cadence, ensuring users receive updates continuously rather than through major version jumps. Let's talk about the default browser Brave. A headline change in Novara 42 is replacing Firefox with Brave as the default browser. Selected after extensive testing revealed GPU crash issues in Firefox-based browsers. When scrolling live videos, with VRR enabled. Brave was the only browser that withstood these tests without additional system packages for Kodak support. And it ships under a custom policy that disables Brave Rewards, Wallet, VPN, AI Chat, Tor, Set DNS over HTTPS to automatic for a streamlined experience. Now, let's talk about the Flatpak Store and the Package Manager. To simplify application management, Nobara 42 unpins the Nobara Package Manager from the desktop and favorites, discouraging new users from inadvertently tampering with system packages while keeping it installed for advanced users who search for it manually. More importantly, the traditional GNOME software and KDE 